All right, Sai, I already know the answer to this, but have you eaten today before you got here? I just ate. <laughs> you, the woman walked in with food. I did, I did. And you know what? That was my first meal of the day, so I did make sure to eat. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Of course. Because we don't have crafty here. No crafty, but I'm in a great mood. I'm in great. a wonderful mood. You're fed, you're ready to answer my questions. You have survived your first season as a Real Housewife. I did. What has been the takeaway for you so far? Whew. I mean, it was very interesting. It was definitely an interesting experience. In New York, there's a lot of bad apples, but I'm the baddest of the bunch. I think my biggest takeaway is to um, just have no one tell me any secrets anymore. I just don't want to know. <laughs> I really don't. I just, just keep your secrets to yourself. I don't want to be a vessel for your secrets. Don't tell me. There's your season 15 tagline. <laughs> yes, exactly. What has surprised you in watching it back? Because it's one thing to live it and film it. It's another thing to then experience it as a viewer. Right. I think experience, looking at myself act in a way that I don't normally act. As in, I was very much so myself, but seeing myself hangry and seeing myself hangry played out over and over and over again, I think got a little... It honestly was a little annoying to me. Do you have food? What do you gotta eat? I thought you were cooking. I don't smell anything. <laughs> do you mind if we stop at provisions? Oh my God. A girl's gotta eat. I was like, after a while, I was like, come on, I get it. We're hungry, like, could we pull something else? Anything else? I think Aaron's takeaway for the season is feed the people if they show up to anywhere you are. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Aaron, but All right. you know. So you've learned that you're hangry, can get the better of you. Right. Any other learnings about sigh that you didn't know? I, I thought I was funny. I thought I was really funny. You are funny. I thought I was very funny. I thought I was charming, engaging, a fun time. Um, I'm very sarcastic. I was just myself at the end of the day. I'm honest. I think I'm brash and honest. What's happening? Babe, it's apples and oranges with my story. Let's not do this. Let, let's just please make it stop. Let's unpack some of what's unfolded on Roni so far the Jessel situation. Right. Watching it all play out, do you see any of it differently? No. Okay. Because I lived it. So what people are seeing is not necessarily all of what they know. Nuances are missing. Exactly. So, no, I don't see it differently. Is there anything in particular you wish the audience knew or picked up on? Um, <laughs> There's a lot of things that weren't said that will probably never be okay. said, not by me. So, I mean, if they play out, they play out, but unfortunately, I'm not here to, to expose any of that. Open up. He was you know, kind at the end of the day, just I don't care. I don't and care. I don't care either. I seriously am like so over this mean, mean girl sh and it is mean girl sh She labels you and Aaron mean girls mm -hmm. because of all this. How do you feel about that label? I'm definitely not a mean girl. I think that there should not be any confusion to being honest slash mean. I think when people hear honesty, it really does hurt their feelings at the end of the day, and it could come off in a way where I am being mean, but I'm definitely not a mean girl. Not not one bit. I'm just a very honest person. I'm a girl's girl. She knows that at the end of the day, so. And you've said that since cameras went down, this relationship has evolved beyond what we've seen on the show. You're in a different place now than you were winter. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've definitely hung out. We go out, um, we all go out as a group, actually. We're all good friends, you know? I think some of us are closer than um, than others. I think the audience also needs to realize we all just met each other. I was gonna say, what, who let's did be, you have? Like, let's be honest. Right. When someone rubs me the wrong way, I start making a checklist. If you rub me w the wrong way once, it's mental. Twice, it's on my phone. The lists. Have you gotten that. eyes on the lists? Have you read the lists? Do you? Ha Does she have a list on you? I. She might have a list. I think she might have a list on a everybody? everyone. I mean, let's think about it for a second. If someone is writing a list only on, you get caught for one particular person, what makes you think that they didn't write a list about everyone? And you know what? Her whole spiel for the whole season is that she's in PR and she has to be prepared at all times. She definitely makes sure she's prepared. She maybe, does. Maybe to a fault. To a fault. On the Bryn front, we are leading up to this finale with the it wasn't on effing camera moment. <laughs> and she didn't tell me, so I told That is up. She said it on camera. It was not on camera! I really don't get too activated unless something is just really bothering me. Lies. 
Lies really bother me. I think I kind of go over the deep end when I hear someone lying or saying something that is very untrue. Um, I, she was just acting in a way that just really wasn't appropriate. She, she said something that I asked her specifically not to say, and she did, and it just really kind of pissed me off. Okay. And it was not on camera, and it whatever she And it was not on camera. It was just a very small detail that you will all see, but. Okay. Has she earned the friend title back? Because I know you revoked it a little bit in the beginning of the season. We're cool. Okay. I mean, we're not best friends. We're cool. We're all just cool. You did your first reunion. Yes. It felt like a big therapy session. Um, a therapy session I've never wanted before. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to surprise viewers about that day? Um, I was very vulnerable. I was very, very vulnerable. Um, a lot of people were, some people were, not a lot. Some were remorseful. Um, no one punched anyone in the face. That was nice. There we go. That was very sweet. Uh, it was, it was, there were some kumbaya moments, but I think, I think a lot of things came out. Okay. So we are in a place where everyone can move forward for season 15. Maybe. Do you want to come back? I do. Okay. I would love to come back. I, and you'll come back. I had a good time. What would you do differently the second time around? Smile more when I'm saying honest things. <laughs> Just, the, the message is the same, delivery a little the different. The delivery will be a little bit different this time. I Look, I'm very much so me. I am a New Yorker. I'm a bit brash, but I'm always honest. I'm a girl's girl through and through. Um, but I will always be myself. Just a, the delivery will be just, just a little bit better. Wifey! Yeah? Where are you? In the bathroom! Can I come in? Isn't this your house? Well, I don't know what you're doing. When your name first floated around as being rumored to be a part of this, the conversation I saw a lot online was, well, she'll never do it. She doesn't even show her husband online. So what was that conversation with, like, get him on board to do it? Genuinely, at first, when I was first approached, I said no, absolutely not. It was, for me, more of a control thing, because I'm just so used to editing and controlling my own narrative versus having someone else control my narrative, which is very hard for someone who Sexy is a content sort of creator. This is what I do oh for God, a living. Um, oh and then Instagram. after a while, I said, this is such a great opportunity to be part of this franchise and the first time they've ever done a reboot in this franchise, so it's history, and to represent New York City. Um, and then when I explained it to my husband in that way, he was automatically on board. You've maintained the David doesn't live on Instagram rule, though. I do, so, I do. So talk to me about deciding, here's Cy the housewife, here's Cy the influencer, here's Cy the businesswoman. Right. Kind of making those decisions under that umbrella and what lives where. I feel like I'm very, I have definitely made sure to keep them separate. Yes, he is on the show, but you only see but so much. I think putting him on my social is not what he wants. I don't want it, he doesn't want it, so why am I, who am I doing it for? Exactly, right? Me being a content creator is very much so a business, and I run it as a business. So I would keep those things separately. I have two jobs. Roni, content creator. I pay everyone on payroll. I offer in health insurance. There are certain things that I don't think people realize, like this is very much so a real job. How has Roni changed Cy the content creator, though? I don't think it's changed me. Okay. A lot of people were like, are you ready for this? <laughs> Life is gonna be so different. And I am just me, I'm true to myself. I'm very much so the same exact person. I don't think Roni has changed my persona whatsoever. Maybe just opened some doors that were not open or you didn't even know existed. Yet. Oh my God, I've met so many haters. <laughs> I have so many more haters now, so that's great. Hey, engagement is engagement. Engagement is engagement. So I've welcomed my haters on in and I, you know what, I appreciate them. You just stay out of the comments I just section. like to stay out of the comment section. Okay. You have opened up a whole world of comments for yourself with a podcast. Yes. Best name, Harder Than We Thought. Life is harder than we thought. It really is. There's so many things. Like, that can apply to almost anything. It's just, it's so different from Roni. You know, it's not really a pop culture type podcast. Right. I want it to really be, feel like you're sitting with your best friend and having these open conversations. I appreciate that you bring your conversations from Roni over there, like defending bringing your own toilet paper places. <laughs> you know what, this is my platform. I have a place to speak about it, why not? But you know what I did do, which I, 
I wanted to open the conversation and say, am I wrong? Right? And I think that's what me and my co-host do. I kind of bounce off her and, and I really want an honest opinion. I really want to see genuinely, do you think it's rude to bring your own two-ply toilet paper to someone's house? Will you be offended? Personally, I think it's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's also housewife behavior. <laughs> yes. You brought in case, in case Sorry, you need it in your septic tank. <laughs> Just in case. When you also look ahead to this next year, I want to add Roni back to the vision board. What else is on the Cy De Silva family scout the city vision board? What are you looking to tackle? You know, I mean, I'm just now dipping into my podcast harder than we thought, and it is harder than I thought. <laughs> it really is. It's just so much that I really just would love to focus more on that. I would love to continue my journey in the fashion world and content creation. Um, let me get over that hump and then we can go from there. Let's get through BravoCon, these reunions have, airing, yes, and then we'll go from there. There's actually a lot on my plate. There's a lot going on, but we can go from after BravoCon and all those yeah, things. The plate's full, but we can move some things around, shove some more on there. You never know. You can handle it. I can, I can.